Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title, today is another bottle service video. It's been a long time since I've done a bottle service video, but we are back with the bottle service series and today I'm gonna to be answering your guys' questions. I did a poll on Instagram asking you guys to just ask me any questions you guys wanna know about bottle service or on my YouTube video, so I collected everything and today I'm gonna to answer your guys' questions. So if you guys are interested in hearing bottle service questions, then please keep on watching. But before we get into the video, guys, you already know, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give the video a like, turn your post notifications on, add me on Instagram, and let's get into the video. Okay, so I have a list of questions on my phone. So let's start with the first one. It says, can I be a bottle girl if I have braces? Unfortunately not. I'm just joking. You totally can. I'm totally joking. You can have braces if you're a bottle girl. Clubs really don't care. Like braces are not a big deal, girl. So that's definitely not a problem. I've seen a lot of bottle girls with braces before. So not a problem. There's nothing wrong with braces. Okay, so this question says, is there a height requirement or age until what age you can we like bottle girl? I think what she's trying to say is, is there like an age until you can be a bottle girl? I think that's what you're trying to say. So the first thing is, is there a height requirement? No, there definitely is not. There's a lot of girls that are shorter. There's a lot of girls that are taller. Definitely no height requirement. As for an age, there is no age limit. No, like there is none. I've see, I see a lot of girls with different age groups in the club. So that's not a thing either. One of my girls that used to work with me at the club asked this question. She said, are you friends with the bartenders? And funny enough, she was a bartender at a club that I used to work at and I love her, loved working with her, super sweet. Cindy, if you're watching, I miss you. So the answer to this question is, yeah, for the most part, I find that like bartenders, bottle girls, it doesn't matter what your position is. I do find that everybody like gets to know each other, they get along, they become friends. The only thing I will say is that I find that like bottle girls become a little bit closer with bottle girls at first because you guys all work together on the floor. You guys all work like hand in hand. So you kind of have that like chance to get to know each other. Whereas the bartenders, they work behind the bar. They're doing like their own thing and bartenders and bottle girls don't like necessarily work together. But either way, like everybody, you know, gets to know each other. They like talk before work, after work. So yeah, for the most part, everybody does get along. Okay, so this question says, this might be a dumb question, but would you need to typically bring a resume to the interview? I only ask because I know you mentioned it's a lot less informal. Listen, there's never a dumb question to ask. It's a safe space here. It's actually a pretty good question. So yes, I would say bring a resume with you if you're going to the interview, especially if you don't know the management team, just in case they might wanna like ask for a resume, they wanna see the experience. It's always good to be prepared. So bring a resume with you. I've always brought in a resume when it's been like a club that I don't know and I don't know management, but when it's been like interviews where I know the management team, I've worked with them at other clubs or whatever, then I haven't brought it because it's kind of like, you already know me, we've worked together before. But for the most part, yes, bring your resume. It's never, it's never bad to be prepared. Do you get paid minimum wage? I've answered this before and I've explained that it depends on the club that you work at. There are some clubs that don't have a payroll, so everything is just cash, so you will not get paid hourly um, wage. Whereas there are other clubs that have payroll, you'll get paid hourly pay and then you'll get cash as well. So it literally just all depends on the club that you work at. They'll definitely let you know once you're hired how they operate. Um, I've worked at both types of clubs, so it really all depends. So this question I've already answered, but I just want to say it here in case anybody else wants to know. She said, my biggest concern is I'm pregnant, but I need a job so bad. Can I still apply? Unfortunately not. The club is not a space where you want to work if you're pregnant. It's definitely very high risk. It's risky. So you cannot apply at the club if you're pregnant, but you can definitely apply afterwards or you can apply at a restaurant because it's a little bit safer to work in a restaurant environment. But the club is definitely not an environment for that. I have actually seen girls that I've worked with that are either bartenders or bottle girls. If they become pregnant, they either quit or they just take time off and then they come back afterwards. What clubs would you recommend for starters? I don't really have any clubs I would recommend in specific because it all depends on you. I would say do your research, look into clubs and see what you like. Look at the environment, look at the club, like is that a club you would see yourself working at? Look at the uniforms and then you can decide where you want to start. Usually the smaller clubs aren't as busy because they're smaller. So I would say if you're starting out, you can totally start out at a small club and then kind of gain experience, work your way up. And then next thing you know, you're working at a huge club with high volume and it's a lot busier. So totally up to you and how comfortable you are. Tips and do you have to memorize the orders or write them down? That is all preference. The club doesn't care if you write down orders or if you memorize them. All they care about is you getting the orders right. So do whatever is easier for you. 
if you think you're going to forget the orders, definitely write it down because you don't want to mess up the orders. But if you can memorize it, then do that. When I started out, I was writing everything down because girl, I was so scared to like mess things up. But now I'm at a point that I memorize everything. So there's no wrong or right way. Just do what makes you comfortable. Can you explain if it would be easy for an international student to get into bottle service? Um, I don't know how to answer that because the club definitely doesn't care if you're like an international student or if you're a student like the club doesn't care but if you mean like you're an international student and you don't have paperwork to work in the country if that's what you mean then it would be hard because you need to provide paperwork to work at the club especially like if you're on payroll and stuff like that so I'm not sure if I answered your question. I hope I did. So, are you still working at the club? Yes, I'm still working at the club. I'm still employed at the club, but because of COVID here in Canada, all the clubs have been closed. So I haven't been working because of that reason, but things are starting to open up and some clubs are starting to open now on their patio, but my club in specific isn't opening yet. They're gonna open up next month. So fingers crossed, I will be back to work soon and you guys, you guys will definitely know. Do you like your club uniforms and do you get to choose what to wear? Funny enough, I designed the club uniforms with the managers at the club that I work at now and the club that I worked at the last time. So I love the uniforms, but you don't get to choose what to wear. That is manager's decision. They totally make the call on what the uniform is. How long have you been doing bottle service? I'm just starting out and your videos are so helpful. Oh, thank you. I'm so happy that my videos are helpful. I love when you guys tell me that. I just wanna help you guys out. So thank you for that. I've been doing bottle service for a long time. It's probably been like eight years now. So I am not new to the game. I'm coming here with solid information from my experience. So a really long time now. What made you want to get into bottle service? So what made me actually start is university. I was starting university and you guys know tuition is crazy. So I started bottle service so that I could like pay off my tuition. So that's why I started. And then ever since I've just loved it. So that's why. Is this your only job? No, I'm actually a makeup artist for Mac. So I work for Mac as a makeup artist and then I work at the club as bottle service and then now YouTube, thanks to you guys. So that's the end of my video. I answered as many questions as I could. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys like these kind of videos or if you have any more questions, comment them down below and maybe I'll do a part two answering more questions if you guys like that or let me know if you guys have any suggestions of any more like bottle service videos you wanna see or beauty videos. Let me know in the comments down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.